It is 6 a.m. It's Monday morning. It's picture day. And I am the second person to school besides our custodian. And today's the day that Sue is coming with me to the classroom. She has not been in the classroom for what, girl? Like a year and a half because we were teaching online. So I'm excited about that. So come along with me and I'll show you guys my week. and cups every time they come to school. All right, so I have to say that one of my favorite things that I've done is all of my lights are on timers now. So instead of me coming into a dark room and having to turn on a million things, it's all here. <sighs> say good morning, Willow. Sue's here to join you. Yeah, what you saying? Good morning. <laughs> the one thing I do have to turn on, I turn on these candles because they're battery operated. Any Harry Potter fans? Love. I got them from Pottery Barn, but you can makeshift do them with fishing string. And just get some from the Dollar Tree. And another thing I'm loving, I use these doorknobs on my desks so that students can hang their book bags and so can I. All right, let's see what I brought in the bag. Vanilla wafers. At school, for some reason, I just feel the need for snacks that are really bad for me because, come on, last week I did a graham cracker lab and everybody was saying Teddy Grahams and rainbow chip icing are basically like Dunkaroos. And y'all, at least with these little packs, they're portion control. Got some Gorilla Glue tape. For some cords I need to fix. Hello, that's for you. I got you some guinea pig food. What else did we get? Command strips. These are the ones that I use to hang everything in my classroom. <clears throat> They're the hook and groove. I love them. Of course, I always have to have these mints everywhere. And what is this? Oh yeah, I got these LEDs to go on the back of my TV to backlight it. So also I didn't have a reusable bag in my car. At the time, I tried to use these, and these reusable ones are so great for bringing everything into school and also less plastic, so I'm going to keep this one and reuse it. But that's my haul for the week. So, <clears throat> one thing I did this year is I made a new cage for Willow, or a little guinea pig mansion, and these are from Target, and I love these because... It gave me more storage and all of my pet supplies go in here. So I've got extra food, extra water bowls and feeders, containers, everything in my classroom I keep sealed so that no little unwanted class pets join us. But these are my favorite. I have them in my office at home too. And then I put some over by my desk here to make this extra room for my printer and all of these things. All right, so Sue's back in the classroom, but today's picture day. See, someone was a little dirty. That's okay, we love you. Isn't that right? Oh, look at our classroom. We're back. Y'all, I've had Sue since she was six weeks old. She was with me at my last school. She's a Holland Law Parabbit. She is super chill. She loves to be held. Probably the calmest bunny I've ever seen. And this is her bunny mansion. 
and we let her free roam in class as well. So I've protected all the cords and everything so that everything is safe and we're back. So I know the kiddos will be happy to see her. We're gonna give her time to adjust and go over some ground rules for expectations of holding her and all of those things. And I've also sent home a survey for parents about allergies to make sure that we're good to go before we bring her in the classroom. So we're back. She's probably gonna be with me in my picture today because now she's gonna have to cover up that. I wanted to show you guys how I'm organizing my Google Classroom because when we're online or even hybrid, it's so important to be organized for our students. Just like when we're in person, I do notebook checks and we set up our binders and stay super organized and put everything in categories. Here, I create topics for each week so that my students can see exactly what we do. Um, I try to put the date and the day of the week Last week, because we're hybrid, last week we were doing different things in person and online, but this week we're reviewing for a test. So we're gonna be doing it together, online and in person, so we're all on the same page. We have students here on Monday, Tuesday, in the first half of the alphabet. Wednesday, we're all virtual. And then on Thursday, Friday, we have our second cohort. So this is how I organize my classwork, and then I try to keep updates to the stream. So I think that this helps them and whatever is the most recent assignment is always at the top of the stream. And one thing I'm noticing I haven't done just yet, I typically have a Google Doc linked here at the very top where I put all of their login information um, for any website that they are accessing and just reminders. So that's something I need to create as well right now. All right, so this is lunch, finally, I made it. We have late, late, late lunch, but it's picture day, and I always get my picture made with my pets. So, the picture people always are very caught off guard, so let's go see how they take it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so picture day is done, <clears throat> and I finally have lunch. I already ate my lunch during class, because we don't have lunch until 12.50. My students bring a snack, my sixth graders. I teach eighth, eighth, seventh, sixth. Then I have lunch, and then I have planning at the very end of the day. So, this is my dessert. And if you follow me on Instagram, last week we did a graham cracker lab for plate tectonics, and everybody, I was talking about how I ate the graham crackers with icing and it was like a Dunkaroo and everybody said you need to try Teddy Grahams with rainbow chip icing and y'all it did not disappoint um the good thing about these little individual packs this is 120 calories and then the rainbow chip icing is 140 for two tablespoons so is this healthy? No, but at least it's portion control and it's helping me get through hybrid teaching because three preps with hybrid is a lot. Today in earth science, we did legends of learning and we are doing some interactive notebook sheets and then in life science, they did a digital vocabulary activity that I have on TPT, and all of that stuff has been a lifesaver because in person, they're doing my PowerPoint and notes. That's also on TPT. So the PowerPoint's narrated, we go through it, we take notes together, and we're covering cell organelles. And then in physical science, my eighth graders were working on some review because we have a test on Thursday, and they also played a book at we played a couple different versions. Crypto is the absolute best and my students love it. The gold rush sparks a lot of controversy because you can steal people's money. And we tried one other version where they played in teams. Didn't love it. They didn't love it either. So that is what's going on in science today. Last week we did labs in classes. So today we're wrapping up a lot of our units and getting ready to test. And 
these Teddy Grahams in rainbow chip icing. I highly recommend you getting it. All right, so I am a little sweaty and at home. And if you're a new teacher or you just need a reminder and you're a veteran teacher, separation of work-life balance is so hard. And I know I get to school early, but I leave the second that we are off contract time. And I come home and I walk on the treadmill, walk outside with my dogs if I'm able. I'll say hi to Jack. Yeah. And there's Jasper. Say hey, bud. I also got a Peloton during the pandemic. So I'll do a bike ride and sometimes like a weights workout after school, but it is the best mental disconnect from my workday. So whatever you gotta do, whether it's reading, yoga, do your thing and make sure you draw a line so you can mentally recover from the school day. Whew. I feel a million times better after a bike ride and Cody Rigsby and Peloton always make my day so much better. The perfect end to a day, and now I can enjoy my night. Stress-free and happy as bird. Right, Jack? All right, so my vlogging is going very well. It's Tuesday, and I've vlogged nothing today. I've made it all the way to lunch. P.S. These ramen noodle bowls are from Costco and they're, they go in the microwave for four minutes with water and then I add soy sauce and put it back in for 30 seconds. And I'm telling y'all, it's the best, best ramen bowl I've tried. But today in Earth Science, we're doing a GimKit review game for our test. I love GimKit. It's great because we can do it for the hybrid students and in person. In life science, they were working on um, cell organelles notes, and I have a Google Doc and Google Form that auto grades itself. And in person, I'm going to show you guys after lunch what we did. We did uh, two review games. One was like concentration, a matching game where we're matching the cell organelles. And then we did a headbands, you know, like heads up type game. So I'll show you those in just a second. And then in physical science, we did look at review and a study guide. So fun times. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this. I have a set of concentration cards for three of my group desks and a set of headbands. So the way we play this is we are reviewing cell organelles and they have these cards. They have a score sheet that they can divide into teams and there's the instructions inside. They hold the cell organelle up to their head in headbands, just like the game that you can play on your phone. And the others in their team are trying to help them describe the cell organelle without saying the word. And for everyone they get correct, they get a point. And we do one minute rounds and they swap teams. So they're accumulating points and we do that for 10 minutes. And then in the concentration game, they are putting cell organelles plus their description out on the table face down and there's all of these matching pairs and they turn over two at a time. And if they find the cell organelle and its description, they get to take those two cards off the board and they get a point for that. And then when everything is cleared off, they count up the points to see who won. And those are two really fun hands-on ways that are student-centered to get them to review vocabulary terms. You can do this for literally anything. It could be math facts. It could be social studies. So really love this. You can even throw in spoons or another game. So you had three game rotations, but it gives students different ways to test their knowledge. And we had just finished our notes. So they were able to get those out and play along. So I have this in my TPT store um, for food webs, for genetics, and for the human body systems. And then of course, cells. Today is Wednesday and we are on a hybrid schedule going back to five days a week next week in person. And today we don't have students in the building because our cohort A was here Monday, Tuesday, and then we'll have cohort B here Thursday, Friday. So today we have our faculty meeting. I'm about to go plan with my physical science PLC team, who is phenomenal. Um, and so we'll be planning out common assessments and what we're gonna be doing for our next unit. 
And then that's who I also review data for as we do our assessments and we look at all of that. So that's it for today. They gave us the entire afternoon after our PLC teams to work on our own to get caught up, which is amazing. And students are working online today and they're also given some time to catch up so that we can get some missing work caught up as we come back to in-person. So that is it for Wednesday and I am loving it because it's nice and peaceful. It feels like in service before school starts and it's definitely what we needed after the craziness of the last week so we can get back on track. Today is Thursday and I've actually vlogged every day this week which I didn't think was possible. So no promises for the future, but I wanted to show you a little bit of what I did yesterday. Since we didn't have students here, I was meeting with my PLC team and I wanna show you how I plan out the week, which this is the first week of school. We're on week five heading into week six that I have planned out a full week in my planner. So just note that hasn't happened up until this point. All right, first of all, I use this Happy Teacher Planner, and this is the smaller one. Uh, I like the size a lot better. It fits everywhere. And what I like about this is I have my different class periods, and I used two columns, so that way I have extra room to point out things. And so I teach physical science twice a day, life science once, and earth science once. Now, I've already taught life science for a while, so these are all things I've done before. With physical science, I'm meeting with them. They are creating most of these activities and lessons. They're things they've done. So these are the first times I've done it. And then with earth science, we don't have the same planning. So I am just getting their information digitally and they're awesome because they share a Google doc where these activities are linked and they have their lesson plans for the week. So it's really hard to juggle all three. Essentially life science, I don't meet with them at all. I have shared every resource that I have on cells so that they have what I'm doing. Um, but as the gifted teacher, obviously it looks a little different in my classroom compared to regular ed. But in these two, I really am having to rely on what we're doing in regular ed classes and then try to figure out where we can enrich. And so this week I'm excited, we're doing a project for weathering and erosion where students are gonna create their own podcast. Uh, it could be a Flipgrid like YouTube type video. They can create a um, presentation. There's six different options that they can choose from. And then over here in life science, we're also going to do either the same thing for cells where they can choose student choice project, or I've done a cell tour before where we green screen and they give me a tour inside a plant or animal cell as if they're a tour guide. Um, and then over here in physical science, we are doing mostly intro to atoms and some activities. This one is harder for me to really get creative with yet because I'm literally just looking at it for the first time. So sometimes that's where you have to start is let's just teach it, get to know it, enrich where we can, get creative where we can. But sometimes you literally just need to begin by beginning and maybe next year we'll get better. So these are the plans for the week. And one of the things that I did yesterday, and this is good, I want mentally to know, and I want the students to know what is for a grade. And we try to take a minimum of two grades a week. So I've got three grades that I'm taking in each class. So that way we are thinking about what is the grade that goes in the grade book and does that reflect that they've learned what we actually want them to learn. So that is how I planned out next week. We had a whole day yesterday without students. So will it look like this again? Probably not, but this is the goal. All right, today is Friday and we are repeating what we did in my classes on Tuesday since we're hybrid. But next week we will be back five days in person. So fingers crossed we have better luck than last time. And that means we have done all of the things in less than four and a half weeks. In person, virtual, hybrid, back to in person. So it has been a roller coaster, but we've made it. And I'm super excited for the weekend. I worked out last night. I feel so much better today. So just a reminder, if you haven't done something for yourself this week, 
or you're in that part of the school year where it's super hard to remember that those things that we feel least inclined to do are the ones that are gonna make us feel better, this is your reminder. I don't know if I'm vlogging right, correctly. I'm not very good at it, but let me know what you enjoyed seeing, what questions you have and what you'd like to see more of. No promises on when the next vlog is. We'll see how it goes, but I hope you enjoyed and till next time, happy teaching and I'll see you in the classroom.